This is a normal Nerf gun. And this is the world's largest fully functional Nerf gun. Measuring 12 and a half feet long and weighing over 200 pounds, this is the world's largest Nerf gun. So this is a normal Nerf rifle. You have your scope, magazine, and your bipod. This is a really cool toy, but I felt it was missing something. I felt it was missing power. So I decided to fix that. So the Nerf gun I bought fires these darts. This is a standard Nerf icon dart. Now, the only problem is it's really hard to hit small targets with a dart that small. I could either become a better shot with a Nerf gun by practicing, or I could just make a bigger Nerf gun. This is the dart that the new Nerf gun shoots. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger. And as we all know, bigger is better. So this Nerf dart is basically one and a half inch PVC pipe runs along the inside core. And then I have these 3D printed caps that fit over the pipe. Then all I do is epoxy foam around the exterior and then you get this really nice Nerf dart. Another pro of having the world's largest Nerf gun is that you really don't have to aim anymore. You simply point the gun at the target and it kind of goes away. The first step of this build was to model everything in CAD. Once I finished the design process, I could transfer my design to wood and begin cutting out the shape of the Nerf gun. A majority of this gun was made from plywood, however I did 3D print a lot of the more complex geometry, such as the scope, bipod, bolts, or anything that I didn't want to make out of wood. Once I had the basic design of the Nerf gun assembled, I could begin adding the more detailed parts, such as the side panels, 3D printed bolts, and any other pieces of plastic that would make it more accurately look like the original Nerf gun. Now it's time for the fun part, final paint. So right here I'm asking off all the parts that I don't want to paint gray. And then after I do all the gray parts, I mask this off and do the yellow and any of the more detailed parts. Now, if you're watching this Nerf, I don't plan on selling this gun, so please don't sue me, but I really had to add the official Nerf badge to really bring this gun to life. Also, if Mr. Beast or Dude Perfect wants it, hit me up. Measuring 12 and a half feet long and weighing over 200 pounds, this is the world's largest Nerf gun. This Nerf gun can project 12 inch darts at over 50 miles per hour at half of the gun's full power potential. For safety reasons, most of the shots shown in this video were taken at half power or 40 PSI. This gun is capable of shooting over 80 PSI. It's also 300% larger than the gun it was based off of. So this is how it all works. Air is stored at 3000 PSI in this paintball tank right here. The air passes from the regulator through the silver hose down to this first air valve. When you push this handle, it will allow air to flow through this valve and into the main firing chamber where the air is regulated to 40 PSI. Starting right here down to right about there is the firing chamber for the gun. At this point, all you have to do is pull the trigger and air will be released down the main barrel. Now let's talk about the electronics. So to power up the system, you're gonna turn the switch to the on position. Power is regulated from five volts down to the Arduino Pro Mini down here. And what this Arduino does is it controls the signal coming from the gun's trigger. And when you pull that trigger, the signal is sent to the Arduino 
and it passes to a servo, which releases the secondary air valve, which in turn clears the air down the barrel, propelling the Nerf dart forward. Rounds are loaded from the front of the gun and pushed to the far back with an aluminum rod. Now that we know how it works, let's see how far it can shoot. Three, two, one. Okay, that's it. We're good. That's it. That's the round. Now let's see what the gun can do at full power or 80 PSI. One, two, three. <laughs> That did a lot more damage than I thought. It's a good thing we had a backdrop there because it blew right past the first stop. So we're gonna shoot this block next and we've never shot this kind of full power before so I don't know what's gonna happen. I think we might have a shot of breaking this if we hit it on the side right here and not at this support area right here. I think if we hit it right here, we'll be okay. So we're gonna try shooting it with a solid core tip dart. It's the heaviest dart that I have right now. And if anything's gonna get through, it's probably gonna be that dark. One, two, three. So this is what's left of the cinder block. That's actually pretty impressive. And the rest of it fell down there. Huh. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'm currently working on an even bigger project and I'm also starting a Patreon. So if you guys want to help support these projects, they take a lot of time, money and effort. That would be awesome. And if you haven't seen my last video, I built the world's largest Nintendo Switch. So you can go check that out. Thanks. Bye.